Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of my Let's Play series here in my realm. We are here at my spawner that we did in the, or my XP grinder if I can put it that way, that we built in the last episode. And as you can see, I have zero armor left. I've just got the iron boots left. But, what I have been doing here, as you can see behind me by the anvil that's there, I've actually been grinding through getting some nice XP and bone blocks so that I can finally complete my full iron, ah, my full diamond armor. I feel like I'm an absolute beast at the moment. I'm really going to struggle to die. So I've got respiration, mending, aqua infinity, blast protection, and a breaking on my helmet, monster helmet. I can actually go and raid a monument now with a, my diamond chest plate fire just playing fire protection, unbreaking and mending, this is going to help me a lot in the nether and with lava, mending protection for and unbreaking on my leggings, and depth strider 3 protection for feather falling for and mending on my boots. So I am super excited about that, um, super powerful I think, it's quite early games though, it's episode 4 and I've got my full 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 diamond armor already, and yeah, so I've also been getting quite a bit of items with this, so you can see filling up my bone blo blocks or a uh, uh, bone box rubber and getting quite a little bit of armor and some ingots as well so as you can see what I have been doing is just melting up you know the armor properly getting some ingots I really want to get some powered rails going um, for some future farms and so on but it's a tedious 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 job to try and get anything like this I've, i got about three ingots and a couple of uh sorry no, a couple of nuggets but it really isn't enough so definitely need to buy uh, both that gold farm going forward but let's quickly head back to our base so that we can start this episode or start with the project we'll be doing this episode here we are back at my base so i've done quite a bit of off camera exploring around this areas i've Basically finish my enchanting station, or rather, I've got enough books to actually get a level 30 enchantment. I try to get some silk touch, but this is what I got. Here's my failed tests to try and get a silk touch, silk touch pickaxe. I also found, I went into that uh, pirate ship, or sunken ship that's around there. There you go. And I actually found this thing called Heart of the Sea. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Heart of the Sea. I think you use this to make conduits. Here's the map I actually use. The treasure was just buried around here, which was great. So I think you use that Heart of the Sea to make conduits. Um, so you can breathe and basically see underwater, which is great. But for today's episode, I have a very, very specific project in, in mind. So all the way here, you can see where it starts flattening out. I've prepared a little piece of... Uh, ground here or earth here where i'm going to if you can guess what this is you're a genius i'm going to build a villager breeder i need villagers so that i can build my my iron farm and i also want to build a trade trading station so basically we have all the best villagers in one place and just trade with them to get all the awesome items i need um, for end game but, so long story short, I want to create a villager breeder so I can get my iron farm, so I can get some more stuff for farms. But I'm probably going to try and rush to get to the dragon. Maybe in the next couple of episodes, I'm actually going to go and battle the dragon. But before that, I'll have to find a couple of things. But for today's project, um, we're building a villager breeder. I'm not going to do this in a super fast time lapse. Um, and I'm definitely not going to do this in tutorial. I'll give you, again, as the previous episode, some updates as we go along. Just a quick update. So I have laid out the entire area, put in some jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, jack-o'-lanterns so that there's a light source around here. Put some stairs in and waterlog them so that all, and tilt all the, all the land around it so I can plant my carrots or my potatoes around here. Oh, just by the way, this is not my design. Um, anyone watching this would have noticed this by now, probably. This is Impulse SV's uh, design for a 
infinite villager breeder i will put the link to his video uh on a card right now at the top right corner of the screen and i'll also put it in the description down below okay but continuing to the next phase another quick update so i've put in the glass round i have planted most of my potatoes i even put a bit of a ledge on there so that if a zombie comes from this area which they will since there's a lot of villages here they'll be get stuck there and have to come around and basically get stuck on the side here so the villagers should be the villager rather the former villagers should be safe inside here as long as it's not too close to the side here and um the, the zombie can reach him through that gap but next up the actual breeding chamber and we're done that was it's a pretty easy tutorial it's a pretty easy farm it's really not that difficult so here's my farm where i'll put in one villager with a compost in there here they will be bred and i've got a tiny little compartment down here at the bottom where i'll be gathering all my villagers so hopefully i can gather i don't know how many villagers i need for my own farm so if i can get around 20 hopefully so according to this tutorial you get about six an hour if you don't sleep during the night so three you know four five hours and then i'll have all the villages i need for a iron farm probably won't get to the iron farm in this episode but i just wanted this villager breeder up and running so now the piece that i was dreading going to find those villages that i have to put in here there's a village close by but i only think there's two villages let's hope there's more okay here we are at the village it's literally just behind that this mountain is where my farm is so let's try come on just stand still no no oh. let's see do i have some slabs maybe i can just force him to get out of there something like that let's see come on I can't put the boat because I can't. Yes, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. And boat. Ugh. This is actually quite difficult. I've seen people try this on, what do you call it, on, on, on YouTube as well. And they always look so pro when doing this. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, just stand. Uh, let's see, maybe I'm just driving to... No, come back. I'm stuck on what? Oh, I can't get above. Really? Ah. This is quite difficult. Come on. Come on. Just, just stand still. Just, ah. Uh, how do you undo this? Okay. Come on. Just get into the boat. Yes, okay, okay. Where did the boat go? No. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay, it's still there. This village just needs to stop moving. Okay, go that way. Here we go. Just get... Oh, yes. Okay, got him in the boat. Luckily... They won't suffocate. I can just get onto this river just so you can see how close it is to where my actual base is, this village. It's just around this mountain. And it's basically just in front there. Okay, so I found one villager at least. I was scared that because of all those, what was it, patrols or raids or whatever you call them, that I was not going to be able to, or there was not going to be any villagers left. Okay, so luckily one survived. That, that already makes my job a lot, lot easier. Okay, so now that you know where the village is, I'm going to try and get them all, all three of them, to my villager breeder there, and hopefully this thing works. I just got the villager in, literally just threw him in with all my tunnels and all my boats, and they instantly started breeding. Oh, this thing is working now. <gasps> You saw that, right? Oh, I'll put it on a slow-mo replay, hopefully. Oh, I should be recording this properly. But I 
think if I open that one, oh, there's a baby, yes, okay, cool, this thing is working, that's fantastic, now, all I have to do is, I think I had to, like, make a path for me to be able to get in here, so, now that that val villagers are in, those villagers are in, and they can breed, there's no need for this tunnel anymore, actually, yeah, let's just take that out, finally i feel so relieved that is probably the most tedious thing i've ever had to do put the boxes off getting moving villages is awful i hate it but this guy's farming they just bred and had a baby oh this is fantastic actually let's just remove those two then I should be in most cases be able to see all babies. I can see the corner far there and I can see anything more well, from, no, not from the side at least, but I'll be able to see that's a baby. Okay, so now that that's working, I'm just going to let that go ahead and hopefully breed some good babies. As you can see, I've marked out four pillars, white pillars with bone blocks here. So this, if I, I can't remember, what is it? Hmm... Let's just quickly see. I've tried this. Uh, show hitboxes, chunks. I'm looking for the chunk borders. Show chunk borders. F3 and G. F3, G. Nope. Oh, wrong button. F3, G. There we see. There we go. As you can see, we're right inside a chunk all along here. So these blocks are showing the innards of a chunk border, basically. Or... Hmm, now that I think about it, that's outside the chunk. Let's just get this properly. Okay, so this is basically the a slime chunk. A slime chunk, meaning this is a chunk. If you go below a certain block and threshold, you are exactly where chunk uh, uh, slimes will spawn. So, that's kind of the whole reason we needed a pickaxe worth mending and I'm breaking um, because I'm gonna start digging with a, just a normal pickaxe to get some slimes and possibly do that on on a slow motion replay so yes I'm only doing for now this is gonna be a temporary slime farm I'm probably gonna look for a couple of chunks stacked together when I do the industrial one so let's get digging Sorry, I should have recorded this from the beginning. I was just so stressed. So what happened is a patrol came. I was like, oh, what can they do? Shut them down. And a raid started. Okay, I think I finally understand how a raid works. Once they start, you just die. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So once they start, there's like a load of waves. You have to complete all the waves, kill all the waves. It's quite intense. But it's actually not that difficult if you have a pretty decent bow. And enough arrows, you should be fine. So this is some of the things I got. I got a couple of emeralds. Actually, this was this took me probably like half an hour to win this raid. Um, got a couple of chant totems of enchanting, a couple of banners, and what's this? Glowstone dust. Yeah. Um, I think I may have stored a couple of the things in here. Um. You know for the raids and so on and so on anyway just wanted to bring you back so um <laughs> i know it's a random place to bring you back and it's getting dark but basically what happened is um i was mining out my start of my um slime farm as you could see and when i got up there was a patrol shot one guy died and then the whole raid started and i just completed as you can see i still have the what do you call it effect of the hero I don't know what you call it. Anyway, I still have that on and... Ooh, I was stressing. But 
overall it seems like our babies are we are getting quite a bit of villagers in here so the next episode we will definitely be starting that iron farm Ooh, creeper this is pretty intense bow at the moment so basically one shot dead um, I decided I prioritized uh, mending over infinity for this bow just because it I've got now with my farm endless supply of what do I have an endless supply of arrows and I'd rather have one bow one bow that I can just use constantly sorry I thought I had a creeper right behind me there ouch ah zombie anyway let me just kill some of these creeps get to my bed and then we'll continue the episode Okay, and I'm back. So, not only did I dig out that whole um, slime farm, as you saw in the quick replay, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to try, thanks to replay mod, that is now possible. And I'm going to try and do that a lot more. I actually tried and, uh, to light up the whole, um, what do you call it, mineshaft that's around there. And it's a never-ending spiral of tunnels. And so, while I was down there, I was like, let's try and collect as much iron as we can. And I had to build this because I was collecting too much. Okay, there's only some gold left. And this is what I got just from trying to light up that entire cave system. But now I feel I've got enough iron, you know, in the back uh, around there. that, uh, Or in my storage. That I'm sorted until I have my iron farm. But I want diamonds because I really, really, really want to get that silk touch pickaxe. Diamond pickaxe. And I currently do have 34 levels that after that whole raid. So what I'm going to try and do is quickly do a mining session of an hour and see how many items I can get. As you can see, the box is empty. So leave a comment down below how many items you think I'm going to collect. Okay, and I'm back. So it was not a full hour of mining, a uh, full hour mining session, but rather uh, around 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. Reason is I hit water at a, or a cave with that was just fully flooded, and I just didn't have the <laughs> the power to push through and keep mining. So, but for a 45 hour minute mining session, I think I didn't do too badly. There's 62 diamonds. Um, a lot of lapis, a lot of redstone. Redstone is just super abundant. But let's take everything here. All my ores that I need to smelt, put them in my very basic smelter of doom. And as you can see, I've already marked out. So currently I'm smelting chicken. I'll explain why. Um, how many iron ingots I need to get a full beacon. So what I did, I saw my chicken farm was just doing really, really badly. Um, I felt like more chickens were dying in the lava there because the lava was there permanently. Some of them were drowning. So I did a bit of a modification, put in another observer there. Some redstone magic, basically, if I can show you now. So I also had to kill all my chickens and start from scratch now. So no lava. If a chicken should lay an egg, it will go out in, out in, out in. Basically burning the chicken to death. Uh, this way, e when the chicken dies, the chicken will end up here. Which is great. So, I don't currently have a food supply. But this is going to be a lot more efficient, I hope. And I'll just start bringing up those chickens as we go along. But anyway, guys. Uh, I think that, I know this is a bit of a short episode this week. Uh, this week, but we've got quite a lot done. We've done a bit of a, a slime farm. We've lit up all the caves, upgraded our chicken farm. We've got some proper, proper armor, and we've got a villager breeder. Just so you guys can see, after that bit of an AFK session I've done, just want to show how many villagers I've got. There's a hell of a lot of villagers. I can't count exactly, but if I had to, let's see, maybe I can see with entity. 21 so i'd say around maybe 18 villages down there which is perfectly at the which is perfect for the iron farm i will be doing in the next epi episode anyway guys thanks for watching hope to see you in the next episode have a great day cheers